Hello and welcome to Winging It. Today at our special early time, one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for tuning in. And if you're tuning in later, thank you for watching the video. I'm Erica Pearl. I'm a children's author and every week on Tuesdays, usually at two, but sometimes at one, I read my books and I share books and we do activities and it's a lot of fun. And today I'm going to focus on a book from my Arnold and Louise series, which is over here. And the book we're going to read is Lost and Found. But first, I just want to tell you two cool things. Number one, another, whoops, hang on, don't go for it anywhere. Another of the books in the Arnold and Louise series, Happy Fell, was selected as a Sunshine State Young Readers Award Junior selection which means that kids all over the state of Florida are going to be reading Happy Fell and voting uh, if it's their favorite book of the books. There were many great books selected, so there are lots to choose from. Voting for their favorite books for those awards. So thank you to the librarians of Florida for selecting Happy Fell, and thank you to the readers of Florida for reading Happy Fell. One such reader reached out to me, and that was Isabella Jones. Isabella Jones is going to be a, she's a rising second grader. She'll be in second grade next year and she lives in Florida and she is reading not just Happy Fell this summer, she's reading all four Arnold and Louise books. So way to go, Isabella. You are a rocking reader in my book, in everyone's book. And speaking of books, let's get to Lost and Found. Lost and Found, as I said, is an Arnold and Louise story. And we're going to start here and read it together. And I wrote the words, and the illustrator is Chris Chatterton. He illustrated all of these books, and they are published by Penguin Workshop. Chapter 1. Arnold collected things. Rocks, pine cones, sticks shaped like letters. See, he has some on his shelves. They were his treasures. Louise did not collect things. I only need the sun in the sky, she explained. But it wasn't just that Louise didn't collect things. Louise also lost things. Usually Arnold's things. One day Arnold found the best treasure ever. Wow, look at how shiny it is. Some people might think that's trash. Broken pair of eyeglasses, but Arnold knows better. It was shiny and bluish greenish and, can I see it? Can I have it? Asked Louise. Arnold shook his head. I need it for my blue things collection, he told her. It's more green than blue, she said, than for my green things collection. Is this because I lost your favorite acorn cap? Louise asked. And my second favorite acorn cap, Arnold reminded her. See, said Louise, you're still mad. Louise, you lose everything, said Arnold. I don't, I won't, said Louise. I'll just borrow it until tomorrow, please. Arnold considered. Louise did her best to look trustworthy. What do you guys think? Does she look trustworthy? Arnold's not so sure. Finally, Arnold nodded. With a happy squeal, Louise ran off with the treasure. You won't be sorry, she called. Arnold hoped she was right. Chapter two. The next morning, Arnold went to find Louise. There's her house, but she wasn't home. Arnold sat down to wait. He closed his eyes. Hop, hop, pop! Ow, said Arnold, grabbing his nose. Now you have to find me, yelled Louise, darting into the bushes. I just came to get my treasure, said Arnold. Relax, Arnold, said Louise, peeking out. Your treasure is safe, so now we can play hop, hop, bop. Arnold raised one eyebrow. Hop, hop, bop, he asked. 
Yes, said Louise. It's like hide and seek, but with hopping and bopping. Can I at least have my treasure back first? Asked Arnold. Your treasure is hidden, said Louise. Hidden? Yes, that's how hop, hop, bop works. But Louise, said Arnold. Just give it a try, said Louise. Start looking and I'll say if you're hot or cold. Ready? Go. Arnold sighed. He walked towards the creek. You're cold, Arnold. Hop, said Louise. Arnold turned and started to walk toward a big tree. No, really, you have to hop, explained Louise. Arnold hopped toward the tree. Brrr, getting colder. Hop, hop, said Louise. Arnold hopped in the other direction. You're an icicle, Louise giggled. Hop, hop, stop, shouted Arnold. He's looking pretty frustrated. Louise, I have looked and hopped in every direction. Every direction but one, said Louise. Just then, Arnold heard, tweet, tweet, tweet. He looked up. You're getting warmer, said Louise. You guys, what could have happened to that treasure? How did it get up to the top of this tall tree? Do you have any ideas? You think someone took it up there? Chapter three. You gave my treasure away, asked Arnold. Not exactly said Louise. So you lost it. Of course not. Then what happened to my treasure? Excuse me, said a voice. Oh, good. It is you. Do you want to see how it looks? Louise nodded. She was up the tree in a flash. Arnold, you have to come see this, called Louise. Arnold squinted up at her. He wanted to stop playing the game, but he also wondered what Louise wanted to show him. Arnold took a deep breath and started to climb. There he is climbing the tree. He looks a little nervous. He came upon a nest of baby birds and their mother. What are you? asked the baby birds. I'm a bear, said Arnold. Ooh, the baby bird's eyes opened wide. Are you going to eat us? peeped the tiniest one. Of course he's not, said their mother. He's here to see our new mirror. I'm trying to figure out if this is the right spot for it. Actually, I just, Arnold started to say, but then he saw it, his treasure. There it was, so close he could touch it. And it was as beautiful as he remembered it. Suddenly, a surprising feeling came over him as he watched the baby birds dance. Mirror, 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 they sang happily. It's perfect, said Arnold, right where it is. They can see the reflections in the treasure. Chapter four. On the ground again, Arnold thanked Louise. Today you gave me a treasure I can keep forever, he said. He gave her a big bear hug. Louise looked confused. Can I see it? She asked. Arnold shook his head. You can't see it because it's a feeling, he explained. It's a good feeling and it's more important than a thing. Hey, Maybe you can start a feelings collection, suggested Louise. Arnold smiled. Maybe I will. Thanks for having us, Louise called up to the nest. Thank you, dear, the mother bird replied. She laughed. That mirror was good and stuck in the mud down by the creek. And if you hadn't come along and helped me pull it out, I would have had to leave it. Now look at Arnold's face. And look at Louise's face. Something that the mother bird said told them something else. Arnold looked at Louise. In the mud? By the creek? So you did lose my treasure. I 
did not, said Louise. She found it. I just said she could have it. She only found it because you lost it. Why are you so mad, asked Louise. You said you had a good feeling. A and you said feelings are more important than things. My good feeling is gone, said Arnold. You must have lost that too. Then he walked away fast. Uh, Arnold, Arnold, wait up. I found a really cool rock for you, said Louise. Arnold did not wait up. Arnold, stop. I found a pine cone. You love your favorite kind, lots of them. Arnold did not stop. Arnold, I found a stick shaped like the letter A. Come look, said Louise. Arnold did not come look. Fine, I lose things, yelled Louise. I don't mean to, but I do. Please, Arnold, she added. I don't want to lose my best friend. Chapter five. Arnold turned around. He walked back over. Louise held out the A stick. I won't even ask to borrow it, she said happily. Arnold examined the stick. He had to admit it was pretty perfect for his collection. It's a really nice stick, said Louise. I mean, for your collection. Though, if you know someone who doesn't have a stick collection and wants to start one. Arnold looked down at the stick. He looked at Louise. There were a million sticks in the forest, but there was only one Louise. Just then, Arnold realized that he still had the good feeling. Apparently, it was a treasure that even Louise couldn't lose. You can keep it if you want, said Arnold. Really? said Louise. Arnold nodded. They walked on together, Louise holding the stick tightly. I thought you just needed the sun in the sky, said Arnold. Yes, said Louise, and the stick. Even if you lose the stick, said Arnold, you are never going to lose me. Promise, asked Louise. Arnold answered by gently bopping. Bop, her nose. Louise smiled. No bobbing without hopping, she said. Wait a minute, I'll hide. She hopped off, her stick held high. I wasn't really worried, Louise called. We're best friends after all. We are, agreed Arnold. Besides, added Louise, you are much too big to lose. It's true. Arnold is a big old bear. And there's his happy best friend, Louise. And that concludes our reading of Arnold and Louise Lost and Found. I really enjoyed sharing that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it too. So we're coming to the end of another episode of Winging It. And I just want to share one more thing with you today. Last week, we had a special episode of Wing It, which was a May I Bring a Friend episode. And I had so much fun reading someone else's book that I thought I would just share, not read, but show you another book today. And that book is The Case for Loving. And it is a terrific choice for this week and any week because it is a book about a court case and the anniversary of this court case was this week. Loving versus Virginia was the court case and it was the court case that said that people of different races should be allowed to marry because everybody is allowed to love who they want. And this was an exciting week too because the Supreme Court also affirmed that everybody is allowed to have a job and keep a job and not be discriminated against because of who they choose to love. So it's an exciting week in terms of civil rights and I wanna just share Loving versus Virginia's book, The Case for Loving, which is by my friends, Selena Alco and Sean Quells. And it is a beautiful, beautiful book and I hope you get a chance to read it. Take it out of the library or get your own copy and I think you will enjoy it. Okay, that's about all the time we have for winging it today. So until I see you again next week, I'm reminding you to do some reading, do some writing, wash those wings, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.